billionaire investor Steve Schwartzman recently attended the Davos World Economic Forum and he had some pretty interesting remarks about REITs. In case you're not familiar with Steve Schwartzman, he is the CEO of Blackstone, which is the biggest private equity group in the world, controlling over 1 trillion of assets under management. They have one of the best track records of all investment firms. And so when he talks, I make sure to listen. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my main takeaways from his recent interview and also discuss some REITs that I think could be potentially bought out by Blackstone later this year. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about Blackstone's recent investments in the REIT sector and potential buyout candidates for later this year. But before I get into it, if you like this type of content, it really helped me a lot if you click the like button. Thank you so much in advance. So if there's one thing you retain from this video, it should be that we will likely see many more REIT buyouts later this year. That's really the main takeaway for me from Steve Schwarzman's recent interview. Just as a reminder here, Blackstone bought out about 30 billion worth of REITs in 2022. This included American campus communities, PS business parks, preferred apartment communities, and resource REIT. Then in 2023, they took a bit of a break because fundraising was tougher, the market was a lot more uncertain, and so they only bought out one REIT called Industrial REIT. And now in the first months of 2024, they've already announced a multi-billion dollar REIT acquisition with Tricon Residential and Steve Schwartzman is telling us that they are going to be a lot more active in 2024. To be specific on the interview, he said, so as we look to 2024, we think we're going to be a lot more active than we've been referring to 2023 where they took a bit of a break as I mentioned earlier and then on the fourth quarter conference call of Blackstone they reaffirmed this point by saying that we are of course not waiting for the all clear sign we believe the best investments are made during times of uncertainty we announced three major real estate transactions in a few months the 3.5 billion take private of Tricon Residential which is a REIT like entity a partnership with Digital Realty to develop 7 billion of data centers Digital Realty is the biggest data center REIT and a joint venture with the FDIC to acquire a 20% stake in a 17 billion first mortgage portfolio from Signature Bank. We think that this is just the start as Blackstone Real Estate has 65 billion of dry powder to invest into this dislocated market. So clearly they're very interested in REITs and this is not surprising given that REITs are today trading at such low valuations. As we've discussed many times on this channel in the past, REITs crashed in 2022 with their share prices dropping by about 30% even as property values remain more or less stable in most property sectors. As a result, a lot of REITs today are priced at large discounts relative to their net asset values, essentially allowing you to buy real estate as a discount to its fair value. And so when Steve Schwartzman was asked by the interviewer if he's seeing opportunities in the real estate market in the US, he said that he's clearly seeing the best opportunities in the public market. Here's what he said specifically. We're starting to see other interesting things to buy. Some of the public companies, here referring to REITs in my opinion, have struggled a bit in the US. And here he's referring to the share prices of these REITs. So as we look forward to 2024, we think we're going to be a lot more active. And it's interesting that he said that right as they announced the multi-billion dollar acquisition of Tricon Residential, which is a single family rental landlord at a 30% premium to its latest share price. This is pretty strong evidence in my opinion that REITs remain opportunistic today. Remember that Blackstone is famous for being a value investor. They are always seeking to buy real estate at a discount. And so if they are able to afford paying a 30% premium for Tricon Residential, that tells you pretty clearly that your average REIT today is quite cheaply valued. I think that the reason why they are now going more aggressively after REITs is because interest rates are expected to be cut later this year. And according to Steve Schwartzman, this is going to create a better market environment for most investments, including REITs. Therefore, the window of opportunity for REITs appears to be closing. And that is why Blackstone now is planning to be a lot more aggressive this year. So what are some likely buyout candidates for later this year in the REIT sector? Steve Schwartzman makes it clear in their interview as well as on the conference call that they are only interested in a few different types of properties. Firstly, he seems to be very interested about European real estate and this may be surprising to some of you given that Russia is still waging its brutal war against Ukraine. But the fact is that valuations are quite reasonable in many property sectors in Europe and there's a lot of distress from over-leveraged landlords. Here's what he said about Europe. 
European real estate is very interesting, but what's happening is that interest rates were negative, so people could borrow money very cheaply, and now their cost of money is 500, 600 basis points higher. So people who use debt to own properties are struggling and they have to pay down debt, so they have to sell assets. We are one of the few people in the world who have a lot of money and like to buy things. So just to give you an idea of the distress in Europe and how low valuations have become in the public market, just consider that Branix, which is an office and industrial landlord, is today priced at a 90% discount to its net asset value. Its latest NAV is estimated to be about 21 euros per share and yet its share price is only 2 euros today. The reason why it's priced so cheaply is because they have major debt maturities coming their way later this year and the market doesn't think that they're going to be able to refinance, causing them likely to default on their debt and so they won't see the recovery. This is a great opportunity for Steve Schwartzman and Blackstone to pick up the pieces at very low prices. And I agree with him that there are a lot of great opportunities in Europe right now. The European free market is even cheaper than in the US. And this is why we invest quite heavily in European REITs at High Yield Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter. By the way, if you want to access my entire real money REIT portfolio, you can join us for a two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Then secondly, on top of Europe, Steve Schwartzman makes it clear that they're mostly interested in industrial properties and residential real estate. Here's what he said. People approach us with portfolios to buy and we say thank you for the opportunity. But we're actually only interested in buying a few types of real estate. We really want to buy more warehouses, more student loans or one or two other asset classes. So if you could take this pile of stuff back to us and just give us what we like, we'll buy it all. Then in another interview, he also mentioned that they like other type of residential properties as well as data centers. On the residential side, I think that a potential buyout candidate could be Mid America Apartment Communities, ticker symbol MAA. Blackstone has previously invested in shares of this tree, just owning a small minority position, but so this tells me that they know the properties of this street, they like the management, they like the balance sheet, and if given the opportunity at the right price, they probably would be interested in owning the entire REIT. Today, we estimate that the Sunbelt apartment rate is priced at a roughly 25% discount to its net asset value, so we think that the buyout could be possible here. The one challenge is that this REIT is quite big, its market cap is over 15 billion, but again, remember that Blackstone bought out about 30 billion worth of REITs in 2022 alone, so it's not out of question that they wouldn't buy out something like mid-America apartment communities, especially if its share price dips a bit further from here and the discount expands somewhere closer to 30 to 40%. And then now that we covered the residential side, I think that on the industrial side, the read that could be a potential buyout candidate is called Stag Industrial, ticker symbol STAG. Blackstone really likes industrial properties and I think that acquiring Stag could give them new capabilities that they might be missing today. That's because Stag follows a very unique approach of targeting value at properties, mainly in secondary markets. These markets are particularly well positioned to benefit from the growing trend of onshoring and they are not as heavily impacted by all the new supply hitting the market in major cities like LA and Miami. Today, Stag is priced at 16 to 17 times FFO, which may seem quite reasonable. And, and so you may question whether the valuation is really low enough for a company like Blackstone to buy it out. But here you need to remember that its rents today are deeply below market. So there's a big mark to market opportunity as leases expire and they bump up rents by 20, 25, 30% in some cases. And so the public REIT market is not giving as much value to this mark to market opportunity since most REIT investors really just care about about the next quarter, but a long-term oriented landlord could see a lot of value in this and want to acquire the REIT to capitalize on this big mark-to-market opportunity, creating value over time for their investors. So in short, I think that 2024 is going to be very interesting. Uh, the fact that interest rates are going lower, valuations remain low, and you have giants like Blackstone acquiring REITs, paying large premiums, makes me very confident uh, that I'm doing something right and that REITs are quite opportunistic today. If you want to access my full portfolio, once again, you can join us for a two-week free trial at High Yield Landlord. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And once more, if you like this type of content, it would really help me a lot if you click the like button. Thank you so much in advance. Let's see you at my next one. Bye-bye.